Hello YouTube, this is Big Mike. Welcome to Big Mike's Reactions. Today is the beginning of Black History Month 2024. It is now February 1st, February 2nd if you're in the great southern land. And this is the traditional thing I do annually. You see, last February, when I first got my channel off the ground, I did the entire 28 days of songs featuring black artists here and abroad. The same will apply here for this month. I've got quite the eclectic lineup, and the very first one that will be shown today was very, very specially selected by the great Gary Bray. This is Billie Holiday. This song is called Strange Fruit. It is a song, I confess, I haven't heard. I am aware that Billie Holiday is a legendary singer. This is a live recording from 1959. And I'm, I'm excited for this. I think this is a very good way to start things off. I remember last year I started things off with the Temptations Get Ready, which I thought was a perfect way to start things off, as the title was called, Get Ready. So, me being the fruit that I am, people even refer to us as strange fruit. So, this all perfectly fits. So, let's get started, shall we? Let's now kick off the first day of Black History Month, Day one of 28 with Billie Holiday's Strange Fruit. Here we go. And now a little tune written expressly for me. Strange fruit. Southern trees bear strange fruit. Blood on the leaves And blood at the root Black bodies swinging In the southern breeze Strange fruit hanging From the poplar trees Pastoral scene of the gallant South, the bulging eyes and the twisted mouth, scent of magnolia, sweet and fresh. Then the sudden smell of burning flesh. Here is a fruit for the crows to pluck, for the rain to gather, for the wind. To suck for the sun to rot for the tree to drop. Here is a strange and bitter.
I don't know what to say to that. I can't recall a time, maybe since in a comedic sense, like a Kevin Bloody Wilson reaction or something, where the lyrics and the meaning of the song completely pulled the feet from... Pull, I'm sorry, I'm so discombobulated. Pull the rug from beneath my feet. When this started going, I thought this was going to be a nice melodic piece. The way she paints the story and the details and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden we get a song that's shifting between horrible atrocities of the past while also detailing the beauty of what lies on the surface in nature. This is such a a haunting song. I did not know this was going to happen. Quite honestly, I'm I'm just I'm surprised that um that I've heard this and uh for the sake of literal argument and controversy, I had no idea something like this was uh like known or whatever in Australia cuz you know Gary Bray suggested this to me, and I know he's a musical encyclopedia, uh, and he's got a wealth of knowledge. He's a great guy. I hope you're watching. I love you very much. I just, I didn't expect that the very first song I would listen to from such a legendary artist to start off this month in general, as well as for the next 28 days on my channel celebrating black artists would feature a song with lyrics talking about people swinging in the trees and blood dripping and their eyes bulging out. That's not something I want. Again, it's a reaction. It's a reaction channel. This is perfect for this is this is appropriate for what this channel stands for. First time listening, first time thoughts. You guys already know by now I make my own little twists here and there, whether I revisit a video or whether I'm seeing the video for the first time, but I'm aware of the song. But and I'm sure, Gary, you had no intentions or anything, any sort of, you know. Um, but I guess I'm still just kind of reeling from what I've heard. And that's interesting because the, the group, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, who archived this was called Reeling in the Years. Um, for something from 1959, that's as good as quality as you're ever going to get, I'm sure of it. But ultimately, that is a haunting song. You know, it's it's got a message. You can tell that Billy sings it with pain. And it's so simple that it, especially with just a piano and her singing, that you have nowhere else to turn to to distract yourself from the horrors of the reality. That was, especially during the Jim Crow era and further back. So, that's a good song, but it's a very sad story. And uh, I respect the fact that it was a request. But just, wow, I didn't anticipate something so, so, so sharp, you know, like that. To start off this month is all I'm trying to say. But for what it's worth, it is a good song, but take heed when you listen to it. It almost, it almost, you know, gave me, uh, it gave me the vibes of like when I very first heard Waltzing Matilda, how that was, you know, a song about war and that was sad too, or Red Gums 19, for example. Um, just hearing this and getting those images, especially someone like me who grew up in the South and a a lot of friends I have are black and they've told me about, you know, the atrocities and even some of the elders that I've spoken to, you know, they've lived in an era with crosses burning and stuff like that. And it's unfortunate. I know I'm really going on very long, especially for a song that was just shy of three minutes, but just want to close out with this. It's especially sad that even to this very day in the southeastern part of the United States in particular, and even Northeastern, if you can believe that, there's still a lot of people who still hang rebel flags and 
people who want to have these racist bumper stickers that try to make it sound like they're not racist, but they are, you know, you see a bumper sticker that says, it's okay to be white. What does that even mean? Like I said, tell me you're racist without telling me you're racist, but I digress. This was the very first song for the month of Black History Month, if you will, sorry. And uh, yeah, I definitely know tomorrow I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick something that's a little bit more upbeat. But anyway, again, I'm not, it's not a dig. I'm sorry. Just thank you very much, Gary. Um, thank you guys for watching today. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next reaction for Black History Month. And don't you worry out there, you lot in Australia, whatever requests you guys have, they will be honored, and I will also do some Australian stuff here and there, and my usual movie reviews will be mixed in. But this is that special time of the year where, like I said, Black History Month will be paid homage to each and every day. So thank you guys very much. Show lots of love. Be great to each other, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.